becoming a Mary Sue. Up Wedding Nerdigans, this is the one only Packer Girl 89 stays. Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for the Promised Neverland chapter 162. And I didn't really think about it uh, before I started recording this video, but last chapter kind of really made me think about this, that Emma, I think, is starting to become too much of a Mary Sue character. I mean, she hasn't done, like, yeah, I mean... She has done some wrong. I mean, like, she lost, uh, um, she's lost comrades and shit. But for the most part, she's, like, able to overcome the odds, like, so easily. It's just driving me goddamn nuts. And the way she was going about the strategy for how we're gonna defeat the demon army just really ticked me off. She's just like, we're just, let's go in and wing it. We'll figure it out. I'm just, I'm like, what? What the fuck? I just was so confused by this, and everyone's just going along with it. I mean, like, I understand, you know, the thing that, um, you gotta keep, you gotta believe in yourself and all that shit. I totally get that mindset, that, you know, you've gotta make sure that, um, you're not defeating yourself before you go into the battlefield. Totally understand that, but the thing is, is you kinda have to usually have a strategy before you go in there, because the battle can usually be won before the battle is even started, so... I, that just, I don't know, it just really, really frustrated me. And I'm very curious what you guys think if, if you guys think Emma has become a Mary Sue character. Like, if she, if, like, if this fight goes the way where, like, Emma is just, like, overpowering everybody, then yeah, Emma becoming a total Mary Sue, and it's gonna annoy the shit out of me. Anyway, um, the other thing that, uh, was really interesting about last chapter that I'm kind of concerned about is Peter's character. Like, because we saw, what, you know, what Peter was doing and all that shit. And I'm just, I was, I'm kind of annoyed because I really was hoping that Peter was going to be, like, the ultimate mastermind of the entire operation and be like, I'm going to over, I'm going to use Norman to overthrow the queen and all that shit. And, oh god, I don't like, and like he was going to avenge his brother type of thing. I still hope it's going to be like that, but I could be wrong. Anyway... Let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can, okay, let's, before I get to this, let's talk about this cover page for a second. Demzu, this cover page is gorgeous. This is a work of art here. The Children's Last Trial, a center color page to celebrate the popularity of the final arc. Oh, eternal, eternal children, fight back against the despair. And chapter 162 is titled Game to Steal the Throne. Oh, we going Game of Thrones up in here, huh? I guess winter is coming. Oh, thank God we're going back to Sandra Musica. Thank God, because I was curious if if they were going to, like, at least I was curious what was going to happen with their story, too. Thank God. A temple? Yeah. It's been pushed to the outskirts of the capital and downsized as time went on. Long ago, those who could convey our God's voice over saw it. Oh, this is really interesting because we saw this temple already. But we didn't know the lore behind it. This is very, very interesting. I'm glad we're getting the lore on this. Um, appointed the king of every generation and helped uh, to govern our citizens. And so they supported the hearts of the people. Because of my father and the nobility, our faith was distorted. The temples lost their power as well. Oh, that's very interesting. That, like, a long time ago before um, Sanju's father took over, that the demons were relatively peaceful. And, of course, you know, corruption set in. Oh, God. Does this surprise anyone? Even, and even now, there still uh, remain citizens who pay their respects to the temple. Above all, the high priest and four wise men, they, uh, they were such fine people, they truly dedicated themselves to their citizens. So they were your teacher's teachers. After the promise was forged, the high priest allowed uh, the people to violate our doctrine. It was so they could protect their lives. So the promise wrote, oh my god, so the promise was connected to the corruption. That's interesting. But to atone for that, he observed the faith on his own. He continued to pray for the well-being of the people. It's because of him that the people can eat cultivated human meat. Thanks to the sac sacrifice and prayers of the high priest and his followers, they quelled the anger of our god. Puppets? No corpses? They are the high priest and four wise men. And they're still alive? What? They're still alive? What? Yeah, but they haven't eaten humans and it's been a thousand years. How could they be alive? It's near death asphyxiation. I don't know how exact... What? Okay. I don't know how exact... How, I don't know exactly how...
they went about it, but while still alive, they completely stopped their body's cellular division and metabolic uh, processes. That's not just something any just anyone can do. Yeah, and they're still praying to uh, this day for the sake of their people. You know what this reminds me of is uh, the um, is you know the myths about the mummified monks that that uh, you know that prayed even when and became mummified corpses and shit to find enlightenment and all that. That's what this reminds me of. Uh, high priest, then your idea is to to revive the high priest and four wise men with our blood, and after that make the high priest king. I like this idea. This is a good idea. They've been waiting for a thousand years. I don't even know if I can successfully revive them in the first place. But now that the monarchy has collapsed, the only one who can calm the chaos, bring the people together, and guide them is the high priest. Well played. Well played, Caillou. This is brilliant. This is a brilliant idea, but the thing is, is I wonder... I wonder if they've seen all the shit that's been going on the past thousand years, though. I'm very curious. Then we better hurry it up before news of the Queen and the and Regent House's dying get, uh, gets out. We promised Emma we're not going to let anyone else die, and we won't let riots or war, um, war erupt. We'll... Oh, there's that fucking owl. This is a follow-up report regarding the attack on the royal capital. Um, the queen has met her end. Oh, no! The regent houses and their families are most likely dead as well. At, at first, it uh, just seemed like a revolt by rebels aimed at the Tafari. But dis uh, disregarding that, we've appeared to confirm the uh, presence of uh, the two evil-blooded as well. Our cameras picked up human children and others leaving the castle separately. Human children? It's the cattle! They're not here! 2194, 81194, 63194, and others. Where did they go? They're dead. They died. So they really are alive. But for them to attack the capital, that's impossible. She's the queen, right? Those cattle, those cattle, for them to kill her. Don't get flustered. Rather, it should be the contrary. Why don't we make full use of this opportunity? Hurry and inform the others right away. This is revenge for the queen and the five regent families. The nobility is dead. That's perfect. Yes, thank God. I knew this shit was going to happen. This is, no the nobility is dead. That's perfect. We'll be taking the throne. From now on, we will be the ones who uh, mediate and control this world. Thank freaking long gods for this. This is what I was hoping was going to happen. Thank God. I really wanted to say that all, I really was hoping Peter was going to say all this is, was going according to plan and that he, um, that he was, you know, ma uh, plotting to make, uh, um, Norman William Minerva or some shit. I really still hope that's the case. God damn it. Please make it the case, Caillou. That would just, oh, that would make my life. But this is, this is good. This is what I was hoping was going to happen. Order all this. Oh, I hope the I hope the priests kill this motherfucker. I think that's what's gonna happen. Is the priests are gonna kill this motherfucker? Either the priests is the priests are, or the priests are gonna turn the demon royal army on this motherfucker. I think that's what's gonna happen. Order all dispatch troops and search parties and search parties to return immediately. Uh, but then what about uh, two two one nine four? And there's no need. They already know our destination. I'm fine waiting. They will definitely come to save their friends. They would never abandon them. Oh, I can't, I can't wait for the standoff between Norman and Rotry. Fuck Emma and Rotry. No, 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 no. It's going to be all about Norman and Peter. If Emma fucking ruins the standoff, I'm going to be pissed. Bring it on, cattle. You eternal children. You can't end this Neverland. Let's settle this at Gracefield. Gracefield, to think we would return like this. Thank you for meeting with me. It's been quite a while. Gra <gasps> She's alive, Gra Wait, Grandma Isabel! Wait, what? She's alive? Wait, what? No, she... Isabel can't be alive! Because we... Wait, what? I am so lost! Isabel can't be alive... Because we saw her on um, the Queen's corpse. We saw her on the Queen's corpse. Oh, wait a minute. This can't be... No, this can't be Mama Isabel. She, I wonder if this is... There's either... I'm so confused. There's... Because remember, there's Grandma and then there's Mama. 
Mama. Isabel has to be dead because of what we... The Mama Isabel has to be dead because of what we saw on the Queen. So this must be... Remember, Grandma, we never saw her face. And, I, and we never knew her name. So I think this has got to be a different Isabel. That's my guess. I'm so curious what you guys think about this. I'm really curious what you guys think. Um, I'm, I'm, first of all, I really love this idea of, the, of uh, bringing the high priest back. And um, I think that's going to be probably the best. I think the high priests are going to have the... Um, have Rock, uh, Peter's plan backfire, which I think is great. The other thing is, is do you think that Norman, um, do you think that, uh, do you think Emma's going to ruin the standoff between Norman and, and Peter? Like, we need to get, I, the thing is, the importance of the standoff between Norman and Peter is really crucial because, remember, like, Norman's being called Minerva. And, there's so many people saying that um, Norman is related to Minerva. We'll get, I think we'll get the answers in the standoff. And I swear to God, if Emma's Barry Sue ass ruins that shit, I will be so fucking mad. I will be, I will be so goddamn mad. I will be so goddamn mad. But the thing I will say that I did, um, besides, uh, uh, I really love the demon lore of this chapter. That was freaking amazing. Um, I thought that was great. I thought that, um, ab about, uh, Peter changing the plans, finding out about the, you know, the, the queen being dead, changing the plans and being like, you know what? Fuck it. The queen's dead. We're going to take over this bitch. Even though I still kind of was hope, I'm still kind of sad that we didn't get Peter saying, you know, everything's going according to plan. Cause he was going to have freaking uh, Norman, uh, kill the queen for him and have him take over or some shit. Like, I wish it was kind of that. But, oh well. Anyway, I'm really curious what you guys think. I'm really curious what you guys think about Isabel here. Do you guys think that she's, that this is, uh, the grandmother? Um, that the face, you know, the faceless grandmother that, um, being revealed now that we've never seen before? Um, or do you think it's Mama? It can't, it can't be Mama because we saw Mama on the Queen's um, body. So I don't think it's Mama. I'm very curious uh, what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Promised Neverland content. Uh, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe. Um, purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. Um, that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.